What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at sorting and ordering data with Pandas and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at sorting and ordering data with Pandas. But before we get started, a very quick announcement. You guys probably remember I had that special offer last week for a CodeMe membership. As you guys might know, I'm going to be changing the price structure of CodeMe, changing it from a one-time fee to a monthly or a yearly fee. And if you guys want to lock in the price before that, I had a special offer that was supposed to expire January 1st, but like a ton of you guys just kept emailing me saying, I missed it. I missed it. So I'm going to go ahead and extend it to Saturday. looks like the 7th of January, 2023. And if you don't remember what that offer is, it's head over here, click on enroll today. Total membership is going from $198 to $249 in the new year. So if you want a one-time fee, it'll be $249. Otherwise, you'll have to pay yearly, either $99 a year or monthly. We still haven't decided probably 12 to 15, maybe $20 a month. But like I said, you can get the grandfathered price right now. One time fee of just $49. Click on total membership. Come down here. Click on the discount code. Type in 2022. That's the coupon code. Click apply and boom, it'll go to $49. And that's a one time fee. Nothing more to pay ever, ever. You get all my courses, all my current courses, all my future courses at no charge. You won't have a monthly charge. You won't have a yearly charge, just a one-time fee. So take advantage of that till Saturday, the 7th of January. After that, price is going to change. That same package will cost $249, or you can get a yearly membership for $99 or a monthly for probably $15, $20, bucks, something like that. So, okay, enough of that. Let's head over to our Jupyter Notebook. And I've got a notebook here. I'm calling it sort underscore order. And in this video, I want to talk about sorting and ordering data. So this is the data set we've been working on in the last few videos. If we shift around to run this thing, you see we've got all this dummy data here. And take a look at this salary column. We've got 200, 220, 190, 130, 120, 150. These are not in any sort of order whatsoever. And a lot of times you're going to want to order your data. You're going to want to see lowest to highest or highest to lowest or uh, alphabetical order or some sort of thing like that. And you want to output your data in that order. How do you do it? Super easy. Let's come down here and let's sort this salaries column from lowest to highest. So lowest looks like 120, highest looks like 220. We want to sort those in that order. How do we do that? Well, super easy. We just go my underscore DF dot sort underscore values. And if we shift tab to look at this, you could see, and let's expand this a little bit. You could see you can sort by and that's your column. Uh, you could change the axis if you want, ascending, true or false, and in place, true or false. Uh, the rest of these things we really don't care so much about. So by default, it will ascend, so low to high. So we don't have to do anything except for name the column we want to do this. And we want to do salary. So there we go. Shift enter, and boom, there we go. 120 is the low, 220 is the high, and the rest of them are ordered in ascending order, going up. 120, 130, 150, 190, 200, and 220. Very cool, very easy. So we can also do the same thing with descending order. So highest to lowest, same thing, except for we just set ascending to false because by default, it's true low to high. If we don't want it low to high, that's false. That'll be high to low, All right? So we shift enter and boom. Now we get 220, which is the high all the way down to 120, which is the low. Very cool. Now, remember, we're like most things in pandas. This is not permanent. This is just sort of doing a one off thing that we can look at. And we can verify that by looking at my underscore DF again, and we can see, oh, 200, 220. These are again, not in any sort of order. They're just the default order that they were up at the top here, right? So of course, if we want to sort of do this permanently, we would have to and give this an in place equals true. Now, if we run this my underscore DF, it will from now on, our data frame has been permanently changed to this. So very cool and very easy. Now, I'm going to come up here and undo that. Now we've done all this with numbers. What if you want to do it with strings, right? You might want things in alphabetical order, maybe employees last names, you want them listed in alphabetical order or whatever. Well, we could do the same exact thing using strings, we just my underscore df dot sort underscore values. And let's say we want the corporation column. And let me give this a little comment, sort strings alphabetically. Did I spell that right? Close enough. And see here now we've sorted by corporation alphabetically ascending low to high. When you're talking about strings, low to high means A 
to Z, right? So A is low, Z is high. We start out with A, Apple, G, Google, M, Meta in alphabetical order. And again, we could do this opposite. Just copy this and paste this descending and the same exact way we just go ascending equals false. Boom. And now M is the top one. G and A is the low one descending, right? Very cool and super easy. So that's a quick and easy way to sort your data with pandas. Super easy. Just use the sort values function. And if you don't remember what's in it, just remember you can always shift tab, to pull up this little box and just kind of look and see what the, the different options are. And uh, just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code 2022 till Saturday uh, <laughs> to get all of my courses for one low price. Join over 150,000 students, learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.